Hello everyone, my name is Vitor and I'm studying Control and Automation Engineering at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro and the Software Coordinator of UFRJ Nautilus. And I have been here in the team for almost three years. And I'm Lucas, electrical engineering student at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro and the coordinator of electronics team. I've been part of this team for almost two years. I'm here with Victor to talk about the propulsion system fluid, our new CUV. This new OV was made to improve our team skill and experiment with new technology. So, the two main requirements for a propulsion system are the following. Our new OV must be able to perform movement in all six degrees of freedom, unlike our previous vehicle, which is not able to roll. This should be as simple as possible, while featuring secret features like tracer current reading and circuit protections. To comply with these two requirements, our team acquired two more Blue Robots T200 thrusters, totaling eight thrusters in our new robots. We chose to maintain four of the thrusters in the same spot as before, in the submarine frame. This thruster is the one responsible for the sway, surge, and the roll motions. As for the other thrusters, we chose to go for a quadcopter-like arrangement, make it as in charge of the roll, pitch, and the rev motions. An entirely new power management system, able to handle eight electronic speed controllers needed to drive the thrusters. Featuring current readings by ACST712IC and sent to microcontroller the information. The protection is made by a switch circuit that contains FET transistors, SCR, and Zener diodes that has to object to shut it down in case of overload or a short circuit, as well as an embedded H mega. 2560 microcontroller responsible for sending speed comments, SPWM signal from the computer to ASC, and ASC is responsible for trust speed according to the movement requirements. That we are done with the subsystem overview, we can start talking about our competition strategy. Our main goal with this new trusted system for the 2021 global sub is reliability. So we want to navigate between tasks and perform the hydrophones and voice tests without any problem, making all this localization better. Basically, performing the same task as last year. Build a solid foundation for actuators tasks that demand a fine-tuned propulsion and control system, like object manipulation to torpedo shooting. Also, with a better balance and sharing the load of pitch and roll actuation bar between four thrusters, we expect to lower the energy consumption of the AUV to a better battery life and less strain the electrical and mechanical components of the system. As for our expectations, we want this new propulsion system to perform as well as the one in BRUE, our last vehicle, being able to navigate between tasks pass through the gates with style points and finish the run without any issues. Our plan is to use this new propulsion system as the building block to develop object manipulation, torpedo shooting, and market dropping in the next year. We are already starting experiments in dropper and manipulation tests with BRUE in our simulation environment, but landing a torpedo shooting, dropping a mark or grasping objects was found very difficult to without controlling the roll movement of the robots. The development of the system was based on keeping all controlling components inside of only one PCB and not lose our main concept, the modularity. The main challenge was not only changing the previous project, but starting a new from nowhere. The last one had the concept to be off the shelf and was made of six thrusters. Before mounting anything, a survey was carried out on how the thruster would be positioned in frames. Then, using all the design, the PCB was project and the main idea was to put all electronic components inside the board, including ASC and adding a protection system. Beyond connecting the circuit, all supports were patterned for ASC and for connecting, then the board was printed. Lastly, 
or external connector was chosen for boost to connect the PCB with the thruster. All electronic tests were made in produce as a simulation. The first part was testing microcontroller at MEG, receiving 5 volts on input and sending PWM signal from its output with a simple code. The result was satisfactory based on expectation in and the frequency could be modified according to the comments. The second was the protection circuit. The simulation was input uh, overcurrent to know if transistor would switch the system. This part works as a project and is ready for the orientation in the AUV. Some parts we couldn't test because there aren't ASCs and ACS in any simulation software. The battery is going to lab, but this moment it's not propitious to do it. For the software development, we improved our simulation environment in Gazebo, changing our thrusters and buoyancy plugins to utilize the UV simulator framework, allowing us to simulate every aspect of our new propulsion system, from the robot physics to the thruster itself. We started the development of the propulsion system using the same thruster configuration in BRUI seeking for the best spot to place the remaining two thrusters. We started thinking about placing them in the sides of the robot, but after analyzing the T200 thruster efficient curve, we decided to go for a quadcopter-like configuration, allowing us to operate the four thrusters that point downwards in a more efficient way. And that's it for the propulsion system of our new AUV. We are very proud of the work that we have been done and we dedicate this video to each of your team members who made this system possible despite all the difficulties facing during this time. Always keeping a positive attitude. Stay safe and see you next time.